Good morning, YouTube. Well, it's afternoon. It's about uh, 1230. I'm, uh, I'm hanging out actually on this, uh, well, there's Walmart right here and Walmart has no overnight parking. And this is, I noticed this field, there was a semi truck that was parked here, um, it was two days ago. And so I figured I'd just kind of borrow a spot as well. But then I realized this is private property. It says no cross passing. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> we get the heck off that property. Uh, but otherwise it's uh, decently quiet. Um, one thing I've noticed though, is there's a pole here <laughs> and of course you don't see these things until you after you parked apparently my observation skills are pretty terrible but there's a pole here but no sign and uh, you don't see anybody else parked along here it's mostly commercial here and we've got cell towers so you can see private property no dumping or trespassing of course of course and then there's a no parking sign here but and there's one down here but there's not one where I'm at, so I don't know why that is. It feels like I might be violating the <laughs> some sort of law, but I don't think I'm trespassing because I'm here. I'm not on the, the actual property, I'm just on the side of the road here, but I don't know. So I don't think I'm bothering anybody. The, uh, one of the Mesa police officers have driven by, I've seen at least one cop, and you know, they're just doing their rounds and nobody stopped me, so that's cool. So I'll probably hang out for one more evening and then we'll we'll head more westwards towards uh scottsdale but it's pretty apparent that i've already kind of upset at least one person which is fine that's fine like i don't know whatever but I don't know, I'm not, I'm not bothering anybody from what I can tell. So I do think I'm gonna stop by and see if I can get some cardboard, just something to cut up and put around the feet of the solar panel. Um, maybe on the edges of the solar panel as well, just to kind of soften things up. I think that would be nice, kind of helpful. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's been got great service, great sun. Yeah, yeah, just enjoying the last uh, week with, with the esteem. I've done that, I did that video uh, that you will probably have seen yesterday. Uh, the five, uh, five loves and five hates of our steam. That was kind of fun, but yeah, I stand by it. <laughs> hey guys. All right, back up, back up. Anyways, but it's a, yeah, it's a pretty nice area out here for being Mesa. Mesa, Arizona has some sketchy parts, but then also, you know, I think basically from this point or maybe a block or two that way too, for whatever reason, Whenever airplanes go overhead, and it's usually like the heavier airliners, like 747, 777, whatever. Whenever they go overhead, my Wi-Fi cuts out. And it will, I don't know what frequency that they're broadcasting out. I don't know if it's, you know, what it is. But it like 100% knocks out the 5 gigahertz network. And one of the live streams I switched down to the 2.4, that seems a little bit better, a little bit more resilient to interference. So... That's interesting though, right? The other day, Brian had actually stopped by and gave me the ingredients for one of his favorite dishes that his wife makes. He said it's actually really easy to make. It's a uh, Kung Pao chicken and jasmine rice, which I I don't know that I've had Kung Pao chicken or if I have, maybe it was like Kung Pao beef or something like that. He says it's not too spicy. It just has a little bit of kick. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna give that a shot. We'll see. He says it's super easy. So let's find out. All right, so here's what we're working with. He says, this is a kind of pre-diced chicken. I think they got it from Costco. Again, this was very nice of them to, to bring me, but it's uh, Saint or John Sewell's Foods. It's John Sewell's Foods oven roasted chicken. Uh, so we'll give that a little bit of heating. And then he says, you gotta dump in this whole thing of sauce. It's P.F. Chang's Kung Pao sauce. And then, got these little uh, minute jasmine rice. And I'm reading the directions because he said it was like dead simple. And I'm thinking, well, you might have to add water or something like that. And it does, it does not say that. It says remove the film, place cup in microwave and heat for one minute on a high. Very interesting, right? So I think this is gonna take the long, I think this is gonna be the longer of the two to cook, of course. Uh, but we'll just have to warm it up because it's already pre-made. So let's get going. Oh, it 
smells good. This is a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> All right, let me cover this real quick. Allow that to warm up. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but that looks simple enough. So let's just heat it up. Oh, steamy. All right. I'll let that stay in here just to stay warm for a second. This isn't quite done yet. All right, I turned the heat up a little bit. We'll probably drop that back down. That looks pretty good to me. Now I'm gonna add the sauce. P.F. Chang sauce, let's see. Oops, smells pretty good. All right. Turn this down. Wow. Mmm. That does. Yeah, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells really good. The uh, the sauce has. I mean, it's not runny at all. It has just a good amount of flavor. It is not spicy. Oh, it's very good. Kung Pao sauce. You know, I don't know how they keep the moisture in here. That is so interesting. Oh, it's good. I think this might be one of the easiest meals you can make. And cheaper than fast food, I'm sure. Especially if somebody gives you the ingredients. <laughs> mm, mm. Well, that might be all I have room for. Hmm. Trying not to make a mess here. All right, first bite. <laughs> okay, let me try the rice. I mean, I did slather it in sauce, which I. Assume is the uh, the intent here. I haven't tried it just bare, but I don't think you need to go to Panda Express. That's really good. Holy cow! Hmm. It's like a little sweet. If you're not familiar with Kung Pao, if you do, you know whatever. But every, every sauce is a little different, right? Orange chicken from Panda Express is way less orangey than, um, you know, what you get from Safeway or whatever. This P.F. Chang's Kung Pao sauce. There is a little bit of kick. It's surrounding my mouth. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of kick, but no, it's really good. Thank you, Brian and Pam. This is delicious. <laughs> and so easy to make. Honestly, I'm about to run into <laughs> I'm about to run into uh, Walmart and buy a bunch of these these rices. I, I, you guys might have learned that basically I'm like a one trick pony, maybe two tricks at most. Um, I have my steaks and I finally figured out how to make steaks, right? A couple minutes on one side, a couple minutes on the other side. I'm sorry, am I disturbing your slumber? Am I disturbing your slumber? You done grunting at me? Jeez. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, you got caught, didn't you? <laughs> Apparently, Samantha gets annoyed when I'm talking too loudly. But anyways, I've got my potatoes and steak. That's, that's pretty much it, <laughs> that's all I've got. I think I've also uh, spinach, chicken. That's kind of it, this? It's even easier, it's even easier. Now the. The cleanup might be more, but I mean, if you just have to wipe something out, it's not like you even grilled anything. So if you don't think that you can cook in an RV, like it's the exact, it's the exact same thing for the most part. Some people will argue that the, the, the stove might not get hot enough or this or that. Oh man, man, lunch was great. Uh, lunch slash dinner. Um, <laughs> so good. Uh, and then I've got a whole second thing just ready to heat up and eat again. Just so great. 
Um, so I want to talk about the dogs because I think this is a really funny thing. Samantha, I cannot get to bark at all, but she will bark if someone knocks on the door. So I'm going to try to try to demo that in just a second. She's pretty smart though. She's figured out that I'll do this. Colt, on the other hand, might bark if Samantha's barking at the door, but he's more just curious. Uh, and I can actually make him bark. He's a very vocal dog. I've been trying to get him to howl though. It's kind of an obnoxious thing, <laughs> but I've been trying to get him to howl. And he uh, he's just so funny. But, uh, but. What is it? Seek. Seek. What is it? What is it? What? what? There? At the door? The door? Is it the door? So, she sounds like the mean one and she's got that sound. <laughs> she's snorting. What? What? <laughs> this is the funniest thing. Can smell that nobody's there, so it was just me. It's fine. Break. Now, Colt, on the other hand, because I cannot get her to speak on on her own, um, she had been trained to be a very quiet dog, and she she would go to work with me. She would stand at the desk. She would go into meetings with me. She wouldn't bark to alert, um, but she would like paw. She would head paw and then just pull. Right. It's kind of a funny thing. So she has kind of that going for her. But if there's somebody at the door. She's gonna, she's gonna let you know. But Colt, on the other hand, is also a very funny dog. Let me see if I can get him to, to speak. 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 Sit. Hats. Nope. Nope. Hats. Speak. Speak. Come on. Speak. Speak. Really, really. Sit down. I think I woke him up. Come here. Speak. No, no, stop. Sit. Sit. Speak. Speak. <laughs> really? Stop. Stop. Get back here, you attend. <laughs> You're just desperate for attention. Really, you gonna whine? Speak. No, 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 no. Speak. Why are you being shy? Do you know there's a camera? <laughs> Speak. Oh, Gabawi, shake. Gabawi. What? What are you doing? I don't. Under, what? What is this? You want to hold hands? Normally, I can get him to kind of how he'll like. We'll go back and forth. I'll do it. He'll do it. I'll do it. He'll do it. But he, I don't know what he's being. <laughs> really? All right. So we've got a video here. Dog howl test. Sound <laughs> sounds to make your dog howl. <laughs> Let's see if it works.
I picked up a cardboard box. Might need one more, but I'm pretty sure I have like 48 feet to cover. So I need to kind of measure that out and get to, get to snipping. But I, there's a lot of box there, so we'll see. I'm going to start a live stream in uh, just a few more hours. Um, got some things to, to wrap up in here before then. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.